Hey Sag, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. Um, there will be an extended at the end of the video, which will be available on Vimeo or Patreon. The link for that will be in the comment section below. As you guys can see on the screen, here's the questions we ask. It takes a deeper dive into your person's psyche and really gives us some good info. Um, I am also doing personal readings, as you can see on the screen, a few different options, and you can book on my website, aaftarot.com. Um, the link for the cards or where you guys can get the cards, that's also going to be in the description below. Or you can simply go on Etsy and search for Neon Awakening and they should pop right up. Alrighty then, let's get into it, Sag. How does Sag view their current romantic situation? What is Sag's view of their current romantic situation? Okay, Seven of Cups, interesting. So there may be like a level of confusion or illusion around what's going on. And I think that you may be in a place where you're really trying to take a step back and understand why everything is happening the way that it's happening. Um, how does how does Sag view their person of interest in their relationship? How do they view their person of interest role in their relationship? Okay, it's the Hierophant reverse. Taurus energy. Um, and what about, how does their person of interest feel about Sag romantically? Okay. You have the four of wands. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Scorpio energy. Um, and what is a block or obstacle for these two romantically? A block or obstacle for Sag and this person. Okay. Strength, ego, loyalty, um, Communication. Sometimes I feel like with the strength card, there's a lack of communication because everything is internalized. Um, and what 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 is the um, unforeseen event in the near future for Sag and this person? It's gonna be okay. The moon. Interesting. All right, guys. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. So um, first things first. Let's make this straight so everybody can see it. All right. Hopefully that looks good. Yay. I think that whatever is going on with your relationship right now, I think that there's a level of confusion. I think that there's a level of confusion as to where you're going, how you're getting there. I think that for some of you guys, you may have recently reconciled or you may be somebody that has multiple options right now with who's going on around you. For some of you guys, this can be somebody that you're uh, dealing with at work or somebody that you're trying to work on things with. Um, it definitely can be a Capricorn or it also can be uh, you, Sag, where you're going back and forth between one or two people, trying to make a decision here with what's best for you, trying to make a decision with what direction you want to go when it does come to this person. Because I do feel like there is some type of forward movement because something is changing. But at the same point in time, I feel like you and this person are getting on the same page. But I feel like with that seven of cups, that's leading it. As much as you're getting on the same page, there's still a sense of confusion with where you're going. I think that you and this person want to have like a serious conversation, but it's like after you have this conversation, now what do you do? Where do you go? How do you get there? Um, and again, the Wheel of Fortune, things are changing, but this may be also you changing. This may be also you kind of stepping into the driver's seat, right? And you driving whatever is going on here, especially when it does come to your partner, you and your partner, right? It's very interesting to me because I do feel like for some of you guys, you're moving on from somebody from the past. I think that there's a couple of different options, like I said, where you have to make a choice who you're going to decide, who you're going to move forward with. But I do feel like there is one person here that you do move forward with, okay? Possibly a Gemini or even a water sign, Pisces energy, Leo energy, Gemini energy, Libra energy, that's what's coming in. But I think that things are changing. And 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 I also think that too with that seven of seven of cups, like there is a sense of a, an illusion, right? What is this partnership? What is this relationship? And how do we move forward? Now, your person, how you view your person, it's the hierophant, right? And it's reverse. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who does not like um, commitment. I think that you're dealing with somebody that goes about things in a very unorthodox manner. That They're not somebody that wants necessarily um, a traditional relationship, right? Five of Swords here. There's that Aquarius energy and that's Venus and Aquarius. 
how your person does things, I think it, it they do what works best for them, right? So I also feel like with your person, because there's somebody that is so against tradition and tradition in the, in the sense of, you know, a traditional relationship, I feel like they do things to try to regain or continue to have control over you, right? At the same point in time, it's like they're sabotaging themselves, right? Eight of Pentacles. Um, for me, the Eight of Pentacles, that can either be a card where they want to work on things, but also it's like working on themselves. Like, I feel like this person is very focused on themselves and where they're going and how they're getting there versus like anybody else. Justice and the Queen of Cups. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with somebody that's going through some type of legal battle or some type of court issue, possibly. This can be a marriage. This can be a, a couple of different things. Or this person is really, really working on kind of creating a sense of balance inside of themselves. But it's weird because even though justice is here with the Queen of Cups, I feel like there's times where this person shows you that they can be very loving, very caring, very nurturing. But at the same point in time, you also have that Five of Swords there. So I think that this person toggles back and forth between, you know, who they want or, you know, these emotions and then this also non-emotional energy. It just seems very unbalanced to me. Because how does Sag feel about their role that they play? The role that this person plays? Nine of Wands. I think that you're tired. I think you're tired of always being the one to push forward. I think that you're tired of always being an option here. Like, I feel like this person has a lot of resistance or resilience towards the situation. And I think that you've had to be confident and say, okay, if you're not going to give me what I want, then I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Because I do feel like there is some type of imbalance here that's going back and forth and a difficulty. And I think that with this person, they purposely play games, right? They purposely give you misinformation. They purposely have a sense of drama in order to keep you where you are, in order to keep you in this cycle where you don't leave. I don't know why, but it's like you really tapping into your core self and saying like, yeah, I don't believe that, you know, enough is enough. Because I think you're tired of all the setbacks. I think you're tired of this person stopping something from, from progressing the way that it naturally needs to. And I think you're just tired of the conflict in the games. How this person feels about you, it's the four of wands with the knight of wands. I think that there's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry here. I think that you and this person, you have Sag energy, you have Scorpio energy, Aries energy. I think that this person and you really do connect. I think that you connect on a different level, Sag, but I feel like when it does come to this person, there is a sense of immaturity here. They also may feel like you want to live in the past, like you want to go back to a time where maybe this person isn't comfortable going because I do feel like this person is definitely in their head about you and about exactly what you want from them, right? They, they know it's a moment of, are we going to reconcile or are we not? Are you going to shit? Are you going to get off the pot? Which one is it, right? And I feel like with this person, because they fight this connection so much, I feel like that's what's kept you waiting, but at the same point in time, they're fighting for this, you know, they create these little tiny petty arguments or these battles or whatever, because it's like they want to keep you where it is, even though the four of wands is here, knight of wands, six of cups. It's like they're, you and this person have this strong emotional connection. But at the same point in time, I feel like this person is in their head about exactly what they want. How do I move forward with Sag? And I feel like that's why there's always this weight. Because I don't feel like this person has made a decision. I feel like there's more than one person involved here. I feel like, Sag, you're dealing with somebody who's hella immature. And that's crazy to say because I feel like the mutable signs, right? Like Sag, Gemini, um, Pisces. Well, Sag and Gemini in particular, I feel like they tend to be like the most kind of like um, light and fluffy and like whatever, you know? more of a youthful type of energy where I feel like with your person, the fact that they're coming in with an energy that's much younger 
than yours, I think that that says something. So whether that's them being physically younger or whether that's just them mentally or emotionally being younger, I definitely feel like this. Because I think that you're tired of trying to put, like make something work that doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like, I think that for you, it's like, okay, that this, this isn't, there's something here that isn't happening. It's just not working. It's almost like, um, I don't know if somebody's actually physically sick, um, but it's almost like you're sick of the way, like the relationship is sick in a sense where you know what's wrong, the person knows what's wrong, but they're not doing what it needs to do in order to make it right, right? There's no solution to what's happening. It's a lot of tower moments. It's a lot of shocking moments. I feel like that's going on between you and them where it's like, I feel like you're you're in a place where you're ready to move on. You're, you're, you're done moving at this slow pace. I think that you're done being tired. I think you're done being confused with what exactly this person wants because I do think that there's a sense of confusion, right? Where I do feel a sense of loneliness. But I feel like, Saj, also you do have people coming in that want to deal with you. They, they do. And I do feel like things are shifting and things are changing for you. But when it comes to this person, I don't know. I hate this Five of Swords card. That Five of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like this person is doing whatever they need to do in order to get what they want. Yeah, right as I said that, the Page of, Cup, page of Swords popped out. There's also something here where it's like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. Um, okay, as far as a uh, block is concerned, strength is here. So loyalty may be an issue. Partnership may be an issue. Commitment may be an issue. This person changing may be an issue. Ace of Swords reverse. Somebody may be lying and not being honest and not being truthful about the direction that they want to go with you, right? Whether or not this is just a very physical relationship or if it's something more. Because I feel like with your person, like one more time, what is a blocking? <laughs> The world, the King of Cups, Ace of Swords. It could be a Leo that's blocking, or 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 it can be you, Sag, that's that's blocking this. But I think it's a lack of communication. I think that it's a lack of clarity. I think it's a lack of information. I think that you don't know where things are going. It's very foggy. Like there's not been something that's set in stone with this is where we're going. This is the direction we're going in. I feel like it's a lack of communication because it's a lot of passion, right? The fact that you have the Ace of Swords reverse, but then you have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands upright, it's like th there's this physical connection between the two of you that's undeniable. But at the same point in time, with that physical, lustful, passionate connection, I think that things tend to get stuck, right? And I think for some of you, there's some type of competition, stuck in a level of competition with somebody else. I feel like too, with you, this person, they're always worried about what's what's best. Like, is the grass greener on the other side? Like, is there other options? Like, what? And that may be you too, but I just think that whoever you're dealing with, this person needs to make a decision. And I feel like when it comes to this person, they want to win, period. And I feel like there's a level of gossip. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like there's some people that are talking about your relationship or talking about your situation or your person talks about it to people. What do you want me to tell Sag here? One more card here for the block. Ten of Swords. Something needs to end that hasn't. And again, I'm going to say this, the Two of Swords, Page of Swords. I feel like there's somebody in your person's ear, right? I feel like there's something here where somebody's trying to talk about what to do, where to go, how to get there, that type of jazz. And I feel like there's a level of indecision with, with what needs to happen, but I think it's because of a um, lack of maturity. What's coming in here with um, this unforeseen event? Unforeseen event for Sag. Okay, you have the lovers, death, the two of cups. Wow, this is heavy energy. And the three of wands interesting and how would Sag feel about this and how would this make Sag feel four of pentacles five of cups I think 
that, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Let's call a spade a spade. Everybody hates Valentine's Day. I feel it. I feel like you're expecting this person to do something. I think that you secretly want this person to put forth a level of action. And I think that they don't. I think that they do exactly what you feel like they are going to do. It's interesting because there, there's something here where there's a sense of control. And I feel like you, you're upset. Like you're upset. There's, there's some sense of um, sadness here. Because I feel like you're waiting for this person to step forward. I think you're waiting for this person to do something. And I feel like they don't do it. I feel like they put you on ice here. What do you want me to tell them about this? One more card. What do you want me to tell Sag about this? Seven of Swords. I don't know if this person stands you up. I don't know if they make plans with you, then they don't show up or they're late. Like there's something here where you're upset because you feel like they didn't do the right thing, where you feel like they did something that they weren't supposed to do or that or that you feel like they're playing you. There's something here about them lying or them doing something late at night. It's like not enough time. Like, I don't know if they only see, come and see you at night, but I feel like this person is, is, is kind of living this double life here and is being very sneaky. And I think for you, it's like you're looking at things from a different perspective because you want to have forward movement with or without this person. Let's see what's up with them. And then I think you guys should be good to go. Okay. What is Sag? What, what is their person um, of interest? How do they view their current romantic situation with Sag? Page of Wands right? They view this as a situation that is a non-committal. The page of wands coming out, that's a very non-committal type of energy, right? That That's a very impulsive energy. It's it, it's it's a free energy. Um, how do they view their role romantically with, with Sag? How do they view their role romantically with Sag? Look at this motherfucker. The five of swords? Really? Okay. Um, again, they feel like they're playing a game and whoever you're dealing with the way that they go about things it's very unorthodox and as, as i feel like sag out of any of the signs unorthodox you guys can do but at the same point in time if they're more unorthodox than how you handle things that's a problem like i feel like you're dealing with somebody that's cool with like polygamy or things like that like they're okay having multiple partners or they're like this is an energy where they're not really comfortable settling down just as of yet um, what are they hiding from Sag? Or what, what do they feel like is a block between them and Sag? What does this person feel like is a block between them and Sagittarius? What do they feel their block is? What do they feel like it is? The Hermit? Possibly a Virgo? And, and a higher perspective. This person is so used to being alone and doing things their own way. Like I said, that they think about things in a really weird ass way. Um, cross watchers, you're going to have to flip it. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like, um, the video and subscribe to my channel. Um, okay. What is the obstacle or what are they hiding from Sag? What is this person hiding from Sag? The five of wands. They're really having a hard time with themselves. I think that sometimes when people do things the same way for a period of time, right? I think that they do it until they meet somebody who's very genuine and pure. And then it's like now they're going against themselves with exactly what they want. What does this person think about when it comes to Sag? What does this person think about when it comes to Sag? The Eight of Wands, seeing you, talking to you, having communication with you. Because I do feel like this person hides the fact that there is some type of very deep emotional connection. I think that they hide it. Because I think that again, this is something that they wanted to wait on. They may have not wanted a serious commitment as of yet. And what action is this person going to take towards Sag romantically? What action is this person going to take? Okay. Queen of Cups. I'm going to put that back because the Eight of Cups wanted to come out and now it's the Queen of Cups. So let me just go one more time just to be sure. What does this person want romantic or what, what are their next actions towards Sag romantically? Okay. The Six of Wands. And what is their intention behind this action towards Sag? The Six of Pentacles. And what do they want from Sag overall? What, what, what is this person's end game when it comes to Sag? The Three of Wands. 
it's like they want to wait. There's something here about waiting. Um, heavy Aries energy, Leo energy, Taurus energy, Virgo energy, Aquarius energy, Gemini energy. Um, we're going to clarify all of this in the extended plus a couple messages from um, Spirit. But I just want to leave you with this. I feel like whoever you're dealing with likes mind games. I think that this person is so used to playing games in order to control situations. This is something that they've done, but I feel like it's something because there's a, there's a level of insecurity. And I feel like this person isn't comfortable having the emotions that they have for you, which is why they act the way that they do. It's almost like this person is acting like a child, right? A child in school. I really like you. So what am I going to do? I'm going to be mean to you because that will push you away and then you won't want to deal with me. It, it's, it's really weird. And, and I feel like there's a sense of jealousy. I feel like there's a sense of competition. I feel like um, this person acts unfazed about you and them because they pretend like they're not connected emotionally. And I feel like they, they have this drive of wanting to be the best, of wanting to win, of wanting to be the one that is in control of a situation. So... With that being said, if you want to know what's going on with your person and how they're processing, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo or Patreon where you guys can purchase the um, extended. And with that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time, Sag, peace out, Girl Scout.